Hi everyone! For today's video, we are going to be covering some tips for recording your virtual presentation for the Calgary Youth Science Fair. Our first tip is practice, practice, practice. Since this is a virtual fair, you can take advantage of the fact that you can redo your presentation multiple times if you wish to until you're satisfied. Practice and rehearsing will generally make all aspects of your video go a little bit smoother. When you go to record your presentation video, try your best to present your project just like you would if you were presenting in person. Remember to introduce yourself and your project at the start of the video. Do your best to be professional and address the camera as if it were a judge. When you look directly into the camera, this is like making eye contact virtually. You can also thank your judges and your viewers for watching your video at the end. Here are a few tips that you can use if you're presenting with a partner. First of all, make sure that you find a way to share the content equally. This might mean one of you presents the first half of the project and the other one presents the second half, or you can take turns and alternate throughout the presentation. Make sure that you avoid talking over each other, and practice first so that you know who's going to be talking about what parts. If you're not presenting in the same room together, make sure your transitions are done well and smoothly so that the viewers can follow along. Before you present, consider your content and your timing. You might not have time to talk about every single detail of your project, so plan to share the most important part. Don't try to share a full demonstration of your procedure. You'll probably need to walk through an overview of the steps that you took, but likely you won't have time to show the whole procedure. Make sure that you talk about your variables and the number of trials you did, and include your hypothesis and conclusion. For a time limit, try your best to stick to 10 minutes. Because you will be sharing a link to your video, they will not be cut off at 10 minutes. However, the judges have been told that the recommendation is 10 minutes, so there's no guarantee that they will continue to watch beyond this time. Think about the setting where you're going to be recording your video. You want to record somewhere where you have good lighting and where the background is not too distracting. Also, try to avoid areas or times where there's going to be a lot of background noise, as that can also be quite distracting in the videos. Here are just a few more tips for your video. Props can be really helpful. For example, you could show the judges an aspect of your procedure, maybe what materials or tools you used, or even what the results looked like. You should also consider standing up when you present. This usually helps people present better and more confidently. If you do want to have flashcards or notes during your presentation, consider having them behind the camera. This way you won't be looking down at your notes quite as much when you're presenting. If you're using a poster board or a trifold, think about how you want to show different sections of your board as you talk about them. Don't block the entire board while you're talking, and consider zooming in on certain aspects of your board or moving to a different side, or even using a pointer to direct the audience to what you're talking about. You can also present by showing images, charts, or slides from your project. Finally, we have some technical tips that are very important. Make sure that your video link works well. So this means testing out your video to make sure that it's complete and that it does not cut off, and making sure that the audio is clear and loud enough. It's really important to test the access to your link. Make sure that it's accessible to anyone who is provided with the link, not just to people within your school's organization. Most share settings default to private or to just allow other people within the organization to access it. It's best to have someone outside of your organization test your link, so that could be someone like a parent or a friend, and also try to test your link on mobile. And finally, our number one tip, have fun with your video. Be enthusiastic, show that you're interested in your project, and enjoy yourself. Make sure that you have plenty of energy and enthusiasm. It can be hard to be as engaging over video as it is in person. Good luck and have fun with your video presentation. For more tips and information about the Calgary Youth Science Fair, please visit our website at cysf.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.